Hey Matt. Hot of glad. Hey man, I'm glad you. I'm glad you posted it. Glad you posted it. I uh, I'm an alcoholic too. I'm just. The word has a lot attached to it, and I think we're more afraid of being being defined and being labeled than we are of anything else, of even not drinking. I have a problem with weed. I just want to smoke it all the time, and it's really not healthy. Not unhealthy, but it's disassociative in a way. You know, it's, it's choosing to experience life in a different way. And in and of itself, it's... I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try and rationalize this for myself. I, I do it too much, and I've drinking too much. And yeah, you know, I'm, I'm an alcoholic in that when I drink, I want to drink more. If that's not what an, what's an alcoholic, I don't know what is. I mean, alcohol in and of itself creates alcoholics. It feels good. It's like cocaine. You do it and it feels good. That's why people get so fucking addicted to coke. That's why I won't touch it. Don't touch cocaine. Anyone. And if you have, try to get away from it. If you ever watch those movies like Scarface where people end up killing people it's because of cocaine. It's because of drugs. It's because of alcohol. All that shit, it's so fucking powerful. Now alcohol, the problem is it's, it's not even it's not even a drug. It's just it's poison, you know? It's fun, but it's, God, advice, I know you asked for advice, I'm looking at your face, you're going like this. Um, what I did was, I stopped putting myself in situations where there was alcohol. You know, originally what happened was, I started rationalizing that it's so expensive to drink. It's so fucking expensive, particularly if you go out, but I mean, it's still expensive at the store. It's a lot of money. So that was my first thing, and then after that, I just thought, well, I, f I felt sick. I was getting sick. Ultimately, the only advice, there is no advice. What I did was I, st I just stopped doing it. I just stopped doing it. You know what else I did, actually, that is interesting? Maybe it's worth trying. I had a bottle of Jack Daniels. Me and Amanda had it at the apartment, up on the counter, just sitting there on the counter. Just sitting there and I open. Just, if I ever got a, wanted a taste of it, I would just get a taste of it. If I wanted to shove it, if people came over, you know, Jack and Coke. But having it there in the open, I saw it every day. It brought me closer, I think, to accepting I don't know. You just gotta talk about it. You gotta be open about it. That's the advice. Keep doing it. Keep making videos about how you have a hard time with alcohol. Keep making videos about how you drink too much. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep talking. Start talking to people you know outside of YouTube about it. Fucking, fuck it. Open up about it. And it will go away. It won't go away, but you'll, the power will come back into your hands. Because that's what's happened to me powers come back into my hands. I have power over alcohol. I have control over it because I talk about it openly. Because I admit that I can't fucking drink it. Or I, it's going to destroy me. It's poison. And it's legal. And it's a waste of time. There's so much other stuff to do than to disassociate. There's actual things existing in this world that we can focus on. Alright man, I'm really, really glad you made this video. It really made me think a lot about, about me. And and you. Um, I'm looking forward to your next video. See you.